Greetings, friends. Imagine you are on a tour of Washington, D.C., and you are and you are learning about things like the American Constitution and the congressional records. In your first day in Washington, you decide to take a I take a cab to the Capitol and the, and the congressional buildings. And you arrive, you get out, and you go inside. And you want to look at the congressional constitution and, and get a real copy of it. And so you walk to the, to the desk and you request a certified copy of our constitution. The woman at the desk looks at you a bit strange and then exclaims, we have no copies here. I'm sorry. What do you say? What What do you mean? No copies. How can that? How can you not have copy of the Constitution? Uh, the, this is where they keep it, <laughs> isn't it? But the woman, now looking slightly irritated, replies, "The Constitution has been done away with. It ended, and it is no longer in effect. Sorry, we tossed it out." And we shredded every copy. <laughs> so, so you are flabbergasted. And you ask, well, when did that happen? <clears throat> when? Said the woman. Oh, about three years ago. Why didn't I, I hear about that? You say, gee, I don't know, came the reply. Uh, you continue. I, I mean, I watch the news every night and read the newspapers. And I never heard one word of the U.S. Constitution ending. How can that be? About that time, a senator walks past and you stop him. Senator, you start off, why were we not informed <clears throat> when the Constitution ended? Well, replied the senator, why would you want to know something like that? <laughs> well, we did not think it was important enough uh, to tell you. Uh, you reply, Senator, that is the law we live by. What, what do we do now? Oh, said the Senator, you don't, you don't need that pesky old Constitution Why, anymore because everyone knows in their own hearts when they do wrong so and and we just trust them to do to do right <laughs> and off he walked hmm. now my question to you is the law of Moses was greater in statute and magnitude to Israel than our Constitution is to us men gave us our Constitution God gave the law of Moses to Israel Israel used it to live by and the reason to support a large and expensive temple. They used it, uh, that law to support a, a great priesthood and to uh, interpret every area of their lives, uh, who they would marry, what to do with sinners, what, what to eat, when to, when to celebrate, when to let the land lie fallow, and on and on and on. And, and so someone trying to tell me that the law of Moses has simply passed away with not one mention of that huge, monumental, earth-shaking event being placed in God's holy word. Not one mention not, uh, of when this happened, who was there to witness it. Uh, what I am saying is that is, n that is n no one listed as scripture as giving that order. No one was witness to that event. And no apostle wrote about it, about it. And, and not even Jesus wrote that. Friends, is it not written because it did not happen? <laughs> and now people offer me a few offhand remarks by Paul when Paul was not addressing if the law ended or not, when it ended, who was there but instead addressed a side issue. Addressing a side issue. Friends, I don't buy that. If, if the law of Moses ended, there would be page after page of arguments 
about it. Page after page of those who would who would not believe such a thing could happen or could or would happen ever. So, and they, and they would have and they would have good reason to argue because, like the U.S. Constitution ending, and not one word in the in the news, the law of Moses could never have ended with not one word showing that end in the, in the Bible. Sorry, but that is a fact. Now, about those passages of Paul that seem to be telling us, yes, the law ended. We will discuss that in the next video. Thank you, my friends.